Protecting older Americans from financial exploitation has always been a priority for me and my agency. You are the greatest generation. You took good care of us. You fought for us. We absolutely should be fighting for you guys. It's our responsibility to care for older Americans and protect you from financial predators. The world and society we all live in has changed dramatically in a very short time with the vast technological advances in recent years. It can be very difficult for older Americans to protect themselves. Your generation was taught to carry your social security cards in your wallets with your IDs. Now that's really passe and unthinkable. It's important to educate seniors precisely so that they can protect themselves and not fall victim. I emphasize over and over again, senior Americans, senior Marylanders, you are your own best advocates. You can defend yourselves, keep your elbows up, make sure you realize the world has changed as far as social media and phones. I'm very proud that uh, my office continues to be a national leader in the fight against tax fraud and identity theft. My office employs a nationally recognized state-of-the-art fraud detection model that we created to root out suspicious returns and stop unscrupulous criminals in their tracks. While the 2017 Taxpayer Protection Act in Maryland granted my agency increased uh, statutory tools to more effectively investigate and prosecute fraudsters and identity thieves. This, in addition to having a dedicated team of 1,200 people that work hard to warn elder Americans and all taxpayers in Maryland about financial fraud and the steps that you can take not to fall victim. This is a all too common ploy that's used by uh, fraudsters. One of my next door neighbors here in Tacoma Park came up to me and said, look, I have a question, Mr. Comptroller. Uh, I've already sent $750 to an organization in uh, North Carolina who claims that I have won over a million dollars due to a publisher's uh, program or something and that I'm the lucky recipient. And if I could just mail $750 to them, they would take care of me getting my million dollars. So I did that. But a month later, guess what? Now they want $3,000 wired to them in order for me to get my $1 million that I've won, they claim. I've checked it out. I called the numbers here and there that everybody assured me that it was correct, that I had a million dollars waiting for me. Guess what? I said to the neighbor, I'm sorry to report, not only should you not send the $3,000, but you have lost the $750 you sent because these are criminals. They're lying to you. They're making things up to you. You are being robbed. He, he was crestfallen, but he was somewhat appreciative that at least he hadn't sent the extra $3,000. All I'm saying is, do not give money over the phone uh, in any way, shape, or manner to anybody who calls you because dollars to donuts, it's a fraud. Yes, I do have some tips and they're very simple. Do not answer the phone if you don't recognize the number. Hang up if you pick up the phone and it's a robocall. Also, hang up the phone if you happen to pick it up and it's not a robocall, a real person. Hang the phone up as soon as they say, well, you don't know me, but I'm from the government. It's not true. Do not give your money to charities, no matter how uh, appealing they are to you. Just don't do it over the phone. Don't make any investment without thoroughly vetting and speaking to people that you trust, your family members, and ask them to investigate something before you give any financial information. If it's a grandchild calling, asking for money, don't send it because it dollars to donuts, it's fraudulent. Hang up, call them directly or other family members if someone's impersonating your a family member. Call people that you trust and make sure that they investigate 
whatever you might want and or feel inclined to help out uh, with a phone call from a stranger. Uh, these are very sophisticated scam artists that are out there. And you've got to protect yourself in these pandemic times, not only from the virus, you have to protect yourself from these financial predators. So thank you all very much. Call my office if you need us.